Hello students, I welcome you all to Arrange Academy. So today we are going to start with the first chapter of class 6th CBSC NCRT and you can guess from the image itself this chapter is food. So we are going to take food where does it come from. So first we will take a chapter ka quick overview of this chapter which you already have CBSE text se hoga. and then after we will try कि हम uh, NCRT की सारे questions and solutions solve कर ले fine so let's proceed further so the very first question that we have here to answer is that what is food so food क्या है uh, so foods are basically some nutritious substances that we humans and animals eat or drink every day or that plant absorbs through different processes all living being around us Okay, in fact, even we require food for our every day-to-day -day functions, right? Because foods provides our body with various nutritious uh, substances uh, which are important for our everyday metabolic activities. So foods are all those nutritious substances that any living creature consumes every day. So these are some images of the foods that we have or we see around. Uh, this includes dairy products or fruits, vegetables, breads, dry fruits, milkshakes. There are so many. So we have so options basically hai kyu? Can you answer? Because not only to satisfy your taste word, but also because different foods accounts for different nutrients that are required for our body. So, we don't particular food se hame sare nutrients milte. So, it is required that we consume different varieties of food for uh, a proper functioning of our body. The next question that you need to answer here is that why do we need food? Hame food chahiye kyo? We know that food is required for providing energy. So, that is true. So, food provides energy to our body for performing various work. But there are even more reasons to have food. Let's look. The second reason is that food is required to maintain growth and good body health. We have food every day because food gives our body ko ek proper health milta hai. and also food promotes our body mein growth ko promote karta hai aur sustain growth and sustain. So food ka ye second point is uh, very important hai because food is required to maintain growth and good body health. This is very important apart from providing energy for different uh, work. Fine. So third point here is that food is needed for the growth and repair of damaged and worn out tissues. You know that the tissues are building blocks of muscles. Ke. So with time and with different activities, these tissues are damaged or worn out. Ho jate so it is required to get them repaired. So this can be accomplished by taking food because food provides our body with different nutrients that can go and can work on those damaged tissues and can repair them. Fine, so this is again very important if there is any internal damage uh, to any of our tissues and muscles so food plays their role even there. The next and the final reason uh, you can say that for consuming food we uh, the, for consuming food is that food provides us with some sufficient number of nutrients they provide us with water and most importantly dietary fibers so these are all the reasons for having food every day now you must have gone through your textbook uh, there you will find some important keywords and terms so it might happen that you won't have got a clear idea ki wahan pe exactly kya describe karna cha rahe ya kya define karna cha rahe so mai try karunga ki aapko in sare keywords aur important terms ko in simplified form explain kar paun so let's look them into uh, one by one the very first one is ingredients uh, your mama would be cooking food for you in the kitchen and you know uh, that for every food that she prepared or you can call them as recipe unhe kuch ingredients ko ikhatta karna hai fine so every recipe requires some certain number of ingredients so ingredients are basically the things that are required to prepare something so for example agar uh, she is cooking uh, chapatis for you you know that uh, she mixes flour and water and she needs and prepare a dough Right then she will roll it down and prepare circular chapatis uh, which got served to you and then you enjoy. Fine so the ingredients which are taken in this particular recipe is your flour and water. So every particular food article has some certain ingredients involved. 
फाइन द सेकेंड टर्म दैट वी हैव यर इज एडिबल सो आपने ऑब्जर्व किया होगा कि देर आर फूड आर्टिकल्स इन मार्केट जिसमें लिखा रहता है कि दिस पर्टिकुलर फूड आर्टिकल इज एडिबल फाइन एंड इन सर्टन प्रोडक्ट आपने रीड किया होगा कि ये वाला नॉन एडिबल है सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम सो द एडिबल फूड आर्टिकल्स आर द वन दैट कैन बी कंज्यूम्ड बाय द ह्यूमन सेफली विदाउट एनी हार्म टू द बॉडी फाइन इट इज कंप्लीटली सेफ फॉर द ह्यूमन इंजेक्शन ऑल्सो वेन इट कम्स टू द नॉन एडिबल सो इट द वर्ड इट सेल्फ से इज दैट इट इज अनफिट फॉर द कंजप्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन इट कैन हैव अ पोटेंशियल डैमेज टू आर बॉडी फाइन सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट डू वी मीन बाई एडिबल द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट यू हैव यर इज नेक्टर सो यू मस्ट हैव फाइंड कि जो जो फ्लावर्स होते हैं सो उसमें एक शुगरी लिक्विड होता है राइट सो दैट शुगरी लिक्विड इज वॉट वी कॉल द नेक्टर सो जो बर्ड्स और बीज होते हैं हनी बीज दे गॉट अट्रैक्टेड टू दैट नेक्टर बिकॉज इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ और यू कैन से अ सोर्स ऑफ फूड फॉर दैम सो दे कम एंड दे इंजेस्ट इट राइट सो दैट इज वॉट वी कॉल इज नेक्टर ऑल्सो इफ यू नो नेक्टर अनोइंगली हेल्प्स इन पॉलीनेशन क्योंकि जो नेक्टर है वो पॉलीनेटर्स या यू कैन से द बर्ड्स और हनी बीज उनको अट्रैक्ट करता है एंड वाइल गेटिंग देम अट्रैक्टेड व्हेन द बर्ड्स सिट ऑन द फ्लावर सो व्हाट हैपेंस दे पिक द पोलेंस फ्रॉम द मेल पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट एंड देन दे गो एंड सिट ऑन द फीमेल पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट एंड अनोइंगली दे हेल्प इन फर्टिलाइजेशन और यू कैन कॉल द पॉलीनेशन सो नेक्टर हेल्प्स इन पॉलीनेटिंग इनडायरेक्टली Fine. So also you should understand that bees, honey bees uses this nectar to produce honey, right? Moving to the next terms, herbivore. So you would have also studied that there are three kinds of animal: herbivorous, carnivorous, and omnivorous, right? So herbivorous, kya hota hai? Herbivorous are the plant-eating animal or the animals that rely on plant or the plant-based products. सो इसका एग्जाम्पल क्या हो सकता है काओ राइट काओ इज़ अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल काओ रिलाईज ऑन प्लांट्स और एनी अदर फूड विच इज विच कम्स और गेट डेराइव फ्रॉम द प्लांट फाइन सो काओ यहाँ पे क्या हुआ एक हर्बी वरस एनिमल हुआ फाइन सिमिलरली मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वी हैव द कानी वरस एनिमल सो एनिमल्स दैट फीड ऑन अदर एनिमल्स आर कॉल्ड कानी वरस राइट सो लाइन इज अ कानी वरस बिकॉज इट फीड्स ऑन अदर एनिमल्स फाइन Lastly, you have omnivores. So, omnivore are those animals that feed on both plants and animals. Correct. So, they feed both on plants and animals, uh, and hence they are called omnivores. An example here can be of a crow, right? Crow feed on dead bodies. It is a scavenger, as well as you know that crow can eat uh, plant-based food as well. So, it is an example of omnivores animal. Finally. coming to the another terms sprouted seeds uh, i guess you must have seen your mother that she soak some seeds they can be rajma pulses any gram rajma they can be any particular seed okay which she soak overnight and in the morning aap kya observe karte ho ki wo jo seeds hote hain wo germinate ho jate hain unme se ek white structure grow out karta hai so what does it mean it means that the spe- that the seeds got sprouted or you can call them germinated so such seeds are called sprouted seeds as you can see from the image as well these seeds uh, are an example of how they look after getting sprouted also you should know that these seeds are healthy to eat and they are a good source of nutrition in fact uh, in the vegetarian diet the main source of protein is from the sprouted seeds so you should definitely rely and consume uh them okay so because they are healthy much healthy and a w- very high source of nutrients fine so now let's proceed with the ncert questions and solutions okay so i will be showing you the questions here uh jo aapko solve karna hai and then you have to check ki aapka answer yahan se match kar raha hai ki nahi i will give you a time or you can pause the video after reading the question and then you can check सो द पहला क्वेश्चन है डू यू फाइंड दैट ऑल लिविंग बींग्स नीड द सेम काइंड ऑफ फूड क्या आपको ऐसा लगता है कि सारे लिविंग बींग्स जो है उन सबको एक तरह का फूड चाहिए थिंक एन आंसर यू आर राइट इफ योर आंसर इज नो डेफिनेटली इट्स नो बिकॉज डिफरेंट लिविंग बींग्स यू नो दे हैव डिफरेंट 
requirements uh, they have different uh, work to perform they have different metabolic activities they have different internal structure and hence they have different requirements of food as well so it is not surprising indeed uh, also uh, let's look an example uh, you can see that cow eats only plant and plant products whereas lion eat other animals uh, even though both of them are animals but they have such a different requirement of food correct moving ahead with the second question uh, you have name five plants and their parts that we eat aapko paanch plants ke name batane hain and also you have to tell ki unka kaun sa particular part hum humans consume karte hain fine to aap uh, video pause kar lijiye and then you think and uh, decide five plants and their parts i hope you have solved it so let's look the left side shows you the five plants that we have taken here and the right side show the part that we eat so here we have spinach carrot mustard tomato and sugarcane so for the plant spinach we eat leaves you must have seen spinach leaves right we buy spinach leaves from outside so the part of spinach plant that we eat are the leaves ऑल्सो आपको पता है कि जो कैरेट है वो जो पार्ट ऑफ कैरेट जो हम कंज्यूम करते हैं वो कैरेट अंडरग्राउंड ग्रो करता है सो so बेसिकली वो है क्या वो प्लांट कैरेट का रूट है सो वॉट वी कंज्यूम इज द रूट ऑफ द प्लांट कैरेट थर्ड यू हैव मस्टर्ड सो फॉर द प्लांट मस्टर्ड यू कंज्यूम देर सीड्स इवन यू हैव ऑल्सो मस्ट हैव सीन दैट वी हैव ऑयल विच आर डिराइव फ्रॉम मस्टर्ड सीड्स कॉल्ड द मस्टर्ड सीड्स ऑयल राइट then you have tomato for the plant tomato you consume the fruit part the tomato that we uh, have or that we buy every day are the fruit part of the plant tomato finally for the sugar cane you know that the sugar cane that you see outside of that you purchase from outside you uh, it is the stem of the plant sugar cane in fact a very interesting uh, fact to understand or to know here is that the sugar that we use in our home it is being derived from the sugar cane itself fine moving next uh, to the question 3 you have match the items given in column a with that in column b so column a mein kuch options hai uh, i guess four options hai and in column b as well to aapko in charo options ko uh, from the a side and to the b side aapko unko appropriately match karna hai and uh, then we will see that is your answer is correct or not so you see that uh, option a here is milk curd paneer ghee for the b option spinach cauliflower and carrot the option c is lions and tigers and the option d is herbivores similarly you have four options in the column b so pause the video and try to match them appropriately I hope you must have solved it. So let's see. All right. So milk, curd, paneer, and ghee are all animal products. ये सारे animal से derived होते हैं. So they are all animal products. Secondly, you know कि जो spinach, cauliflower, और carrot है, ये क्या है? They all are vegetables, right? Lions and tigers are carnivorous animals, so they eat other animals. Herbivores, they are the plant eating animals or the plant based food uh, product eating animal so hence this option so this is a very easy uh, match the following and i hope that you all have answered all the options correctly fine so with the last thing that you need to do in this chapter is fill up the blanks with the words given so you have five words here herbivore plant milk sugarcane and carnivore okay and you have five philips so you need to fill them appropriately again so take a moment again uh, pause the video and try to solve all right so i guess you must have solved so pehla uh, a wala kya hai aapka tiger is a dash because it eats only meat tiger kya hai kyunki wo meat eating animal hai so definitely tiger is a carnivorous animal because it eats only meat the B one is deer eats only plant products and so is called deer. Ah, uh, only plant products ah uh, consume करता है and so जो deer है वो आपका क्या है? It's a herbivore animal. The third one is that parrot eats only dash products. So parrot 
क्या कंज्यूम करता है पैरेट इज अ हर्बी एनिमल एंड देर फोर पैरट्स ईट ओनली प्लांट प्रोडक्ट्स द नेक्स्ट वन इज द डैश दैट वी ड्रिंक विच कम्स फ्रॉम काउज बफलोज एंड गोड्स इज एन एनिमल प्रोडक्ट सो वॉट टू डू वी ड्रिंक विच इज बिंग डिराइव फ्रॉम काउज बफलोज एंड गोड्स डेफिनेटली मिल्क यू ड्रिंक मिल्क राइट सो वेर डज इट कम फ्रॉम इट कम्स फ्रॉम द काउज बफलोज एंड गोड्स सो इट्स एन एनिमल प्रोडक्ट एज वेल द लास्ट वन वी गेट शुगर फ्रॉम so again i have told told you in the last slide that sugar is being derived from sugar cane correct so here comes the sugar cane so here we are done with the fill up the blanks as well i hope that you have done this one as well correctly finally we are done with this particular chapter and with the ncert questions and solutions thank you for being with us all throughout i would request you to please subscribe to our channel arinja academy on youtube uh, also aap hamare site ko visit kar sakte hain that is arinjaacademy.com wahan aapko aur bhi details milenge you can find ncert questions and solutions for almost all the chapters of all the classes uh, and for almost all the subjects so definitely be with us and for more such great courses uh, watch arinja academy so keep learning and keep growing Thank you